ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the next lesson in the Shoe 25 Cadet series. This time we are going to blow stuff up. This is the fun part, and as, and as I told you, um, I will be teaching you how to use the cannon first. Why? Because the Shoe 25 has the most simplistic aiming computers and fire control of the uh, Shoe of the uh, DCS World modules and its cannon is the hardest one to aim and hit with. Therefore, if you from birth learn how to use the most effective and most difficult weapon on the most difficult aircraft, everything else is just easy. The scenario here is that I'm on a patrol and I've been told that uh, we have no idea where the enemy is, if there is any enemy and how prepared they are. I was just told to patrol the beach and that is what I will do. If I encounter any enemies, I will be committing to the attack. I will be performing the attack without pausing the game. I will narrate everything I do and my th uh, thought process all the way. So everything I do, I will tell you what I do and why. In the previous uh, lesson, you learned how to use the uh, um, hot uh, gun sight symbology, so I don't have to explain that again. And you also learned how to aim using external factors or external indicators like smoke and fires and so on. So, when I'm flying here, I'm not just sitting here and enjoying the flight. I'm constantly looking for smoke trails from SAMs, tracers, contrails, anything that could indicate enemy presence. And I'm always looking for a place to emergency land if I get uh, engine failures. We are armed with eight pods of S8 the rockets. We'll, be, uh, we'll not be using those today, we'll be using the Gesher 30-2 cannon. Um, the cannon is a wonderful cannon. Um, it is made by a company in Tula called uh, Gurvich. Hello. Uh, no, not good, it's a bigger chef and Shipanov. That's why the, the cannon is G and SH and 30 because it's 30 millimeters and 2 because it is 2 barrel. The cannon is uh, pretty effective against uh, soft skin vehicles. Uh, it, it's pretty, let's just say, ineffective against tanks and heavy armored vehicles. So don't don't waste your time with those. Oop. I spot the fire. Yep. And two rows of units. I do not know if they are friendly or not, so I got up. I expect the worst. And I'm looking at two rows of four uh, alongside the beach. Uh, for the Row is uh, smaller doors, means lighter vehicles. Uh, northern row is uh, bigger doors, that means heavier vehicle. Planes start shaking to high speed, reducing throttle. Looking at the smoke, no wind. So, nothing to take away or to uh, affect my bullets or projectiles. I'm looking at 
where they are going to untake me at north of the city uh, triangle shaped island at the end of the river i know where they are now and roughly align uh, with the beach i suspect that the northernmost row of target is bigger targets um, most likely tanks so i will avoid attacking those because my cannon is not effective enough for that i will be focusing on the southernmost row uh, row of targets and since I do not know if they have seen me, if they know I'm hostile, um, too much speed, we do battle. Um, I want to take as many out as I can on the first pass. Okay, now I'm uh, mentally prepared for the attack. I know where the enemy target is. I know that there's no wind, I know where they are located, I know how they are situated, that they are two rows of fours, and I have plenty of time, plenty of space, nothing shooting at me, no enemy aircraft, I am in full control of the situation. I have all the time and all the space I need, therefore do not rush. I'm going to ground at ground mode, lowering my gun sight, switching to cannon. I see the gun sight comes up, that means that the electronics are working. I'm looking down here, yes, cannon is selected. And I roughly align to the beach, it was roughly. 3, 2, 0. I'm leveling now, waiting for good confirmation on how I'm aligned on the southernmost row of targets. I see them, I'm slowly turning into them, and in a few seconds I'm committed. I'm gonna throttle up a bit, not too much, preparing to use the air brakes if I need to, throttle back, place it on, putting the paper at the second vehicle, making sure that the bank indicator is as level up as possible, waiting for the range to decrease. decrease. That's it, bank off, or oh, we are off, is off, changing height and altitude to avoid uh, taking fire, no hits. What I uh, observed was that the first salvo was falling a bit to the right. But with no wind, it indicates that I was not completely wings level. I know that now. I can go in. I'm in full control of the situation. I, I decide and dictate what happens and when and where. So I can go in for another run. I expect, expect that the targets will shoot back at me now that they know I'm, <laughs> I'm hostile. Therefore, I will not be scared when they fire back at me because I expect that. And I also expect that they will be spraying more than actually hitting me. So. Almost perfectly aligned, throttle back. Place on, making more sure that I'm level. In a bit to the left, and
they shoot you back at me. They know who I am now. And <laughs> still no hits. Hmm. I will try to aim at the middle of the column now. That is why it is very important to not be discouraged by, oh, I see, don't see any smoke uh, box in DCS or lousy cannon. No. Keep going at it. Keep improving. I did not hit the target because I did something wrong. That is very important to acknowledge that if you don't hit, it's, it is 99% always your fault. Therefore, step, uh, step back, breathe, observe, acknowledge, and correct. As you saw, they shot back at me, but the uh, fire, the return fire was very sporadic. So, but respect enemy fire no matter how close are or how far off they are it only takes one bullet to kill you laser on this time i'm gonna wait until the very last moment to fire Slowly moving up. It's off. Changing height and altitude. See? I did hit them, but they did not explode or anything. But, and they didn't. Um, catch fire, but I did hit them. And now that I see that the column has split up, I will go for the uh, little group with three in it. The single one I will leave alone. And I'm going to do a right row here. Um, at a full throttle. I assume that I hit the targets on my second volley. That means my aim was a bit to the left. So now that I come in from the other side, I have to be a bit to the right. And let's see how I'm lined up. Uh, average. But let's try it. I need to be, be, care uh, be careful with the northernmost group. The tanks will be firing at me. bit more and a, a bit too much correction. So it is funny because when I'm attacking from the south to the north I need to be a bit to the water side but when I'm attacking from the north to the south I need to be right on that is very important to observe those things and that is what makes you a, a good gunner those minute uh, things and the pattern in why you are missing so now I need to be a bit to the uh, west a bit to, toward the water one target size to the water I 
position. This level. Impact was a bit short, but I hit the hood in the, uh, in the target. And as you can see, <laughs> we need to be very precise with the cannon. That is why the cannon is uh, always considered the last ditch weapon. When everything else fails and you are out of bombs and rockets, you can go for a hero run with the cannon. And why is it called a hero run? Because you're most likely dying. <laughs> so, now I know that I need to be pretty much spot on. My aiming point should be pretty much spot on my intended impact point. on. Right above the target. Let's see. Brrrr. And height and altitude. Change height and altitude. I did hit the target. So, yeah. The um, cannon is under normal uh, condition made to penetrate up to. 40 millimeter of armor, so it is not the Super Gau 8 A10 weapon. So, left run. My cannon load is one quarter, so I have 25% ammo load left. Ice is on. A bit to the left and a bit above. See? Target. Hit it. Kill it. Two this time. Yeah, so now you understand how precise you need to be and how observant of your uh, impacts and the surrounding you have to be to be good at the cannon. Um, and that is why I always train from the basic up to the much too easy. And as, as you saw, if I use the cannon at the maximum effective range, um, the penetration power is not that good. The closer you get and the faster you get, the more penetration power it has. You have to remember that I believe that the muscle velocity is 900 meters per second, but that is muscle velocity. velocity. That is not the velocity of the projectile all the way to impact and on top of that at your own speed so what is uh, 900 meters per second that is uh, roughly uh, Mach 3 let's say 3000 kilometers per hour and if I was diving at 600 kilometers per hour that is 3600 kilometers per hour so that it's very important to know that the faster you are and the closer you are, the harder the projectiles get. So, and now that I'm disengaged into navigation mode, and laser is off. One way to remember uh, to turn on and off the laser is by the acronym uh, LOL. 
laughing out loud, LOL. It is laser, ordnance, laser. That is uh, one way I can remember to turn off the laser. So. so that is it. Next lesson uh, will be unguarded rockets.